I'm Pluto. Today's Pig a Card reading is going to be centered around a possible past life of you and somebody that you have in mind that you are in a platonic dynamic with. We're going to take a look at their thoughts and feelings about you in this past life based on the most dominant and persuasive energy that my guides and angels can provide for me, as well as a situation you encountered with them and a spiritual reason behind this life you had together as well as your perspective on them in the same ways. We're also going to see if our angels and spirit guides and friends and family have any advice for you in regards to dealing with this particular person. This could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker. I would just like to say that I am keeping gratitude in my heart and an open mind throughout this process. The rest of my intentions will be in the description box below. So let's get into you and them platonically in a possible past life. Hello, pile number one. So let's find out what the person that you have in mind was thinking about you in this past life that you guys had together. Angels, spirit guides, friends, family, my most benevolent, empathetic, connected beings to myself. In pile number one, what was their person thinking about them in this past life? In this past life, they were thinking about the fact that you were not taking the most ruthless action that you possibly could take. You were kind of sitting around being stagnant and not receiving victory because of it. The frequency of cosmic flower activates our remembrance of the place we call home, the core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world. How were they feeling about pile number one in this past life? They definitely saw that you had the potential for greatness in regards to your action. They felt a lot of conflict with you and they felt like there would never be an end to this conflict. Passion is in reverse. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to fight with them forever. It's never going to come to any kind of nice resolution and I just don't give any f's about it so let's find out what kind of situation happened between the two of you what does this person and their guides and spirit guides and higher selves want to show us about a situation so the joker popped up here that means that a lot more happened in this particular situation than i am able to divulge to you right now you guys might have been childhood friends maybe you were right down the street from each other by kissing my bliss i electrify my relationship with life Maybe you guys shared a kiss in a past life. You may have caused trouble with this person in a professional way. They were working really hard to accomplish something and then they got bad news and there was a mischievous young man that came into the picture. This person that you have in mind may have actually shared a kiss with you or had been briefly romantically involved with you in some way or another but all you did was pretty much cause a lot of trouble. It was like they saw you in this gaudy, showy way. It was like you were flaunting your money or flaunting your looks. They saw that you could be so much more, but you weren't acting on it. And so they just kept working on themselves and building themselves from the ground up and looking for success. It looks like they didn't see themselves in you. They just saw you in a way that they could not identify within themselves. You were a whole new world to them. On a spiritual level, why did they have this past life with you? Why did Palmer's person have this experience with them? Through this experience in this past life with you, they came to understand what it was like to be on earth in the nitty gritty. They learned what it was like to have anxiety. They learned what it was like to have these little tiny moments in time where they could take the opportunity to say what was really on their mind, to speak their mind. You guys probably had a lot of deep conversations 
it was probably very like cyclical in the way of you guys would meet up a lot and like talk they would try to share their perspective and really get themselves across with you kind of thing it wasn't the funnest time for them but they were definitely experiencing what it was like to be human on earth the frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin the place where everything in creation begins it helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused intention. They were definitely at a state of experimenting in this past life and really going out of their comfort zones. Spirit guides, friends, family, and our most benevolent, empathetic, connected beings to ourselves in pile number one. How did pile number one think about this person in this past life that we have here? thinking about the fact that this person had a lot of action that they could take and they were just now discovering it you might have seen this person in a really young state oh my gosh this person has the potential to do whatever they want and to take whatever actions that they want to take it's just the beginning for them you might have been like young teenagers or something like that you also saw this person being highly protected. You saw this person broke. This person was not wealthy. And you were thinking about that. You were also thinking about how this person was not exactly the most intuitive and naturally connected to the the earth the frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin the place where everything in creation begins it helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of the space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention we're definitely seeing this person in a way of just being at the threshold of deciding what kind of actions they wanted to take. How were you feeling about this person in a past life? You felt like things weren't going their way. I think you had a lot of pity for this person. Although this is a platonic reading, in this past life you definitely had romantic feelings for this person. So what kind of experience, pile number one, would you like to share with me that you ended up going through? This dynamic may have happened way earlier than either of us really expect or know about. There was some kind of scenario that happened between you guys that may have seemed uncertain. This scenario is really blurry. You saw them taking some really serious action and bringing news about love in some way or another. So pile number one, why did you go through this lifetime with this person on a spiritual level? So you were learning allowance, magic, that magic does exist. You can create something out of nothing. You also needed to look at things in a very serious, wise way perspective on a spiritual level you might have spent a lot of time kind of galloping through the clouds and in this life you learned to take things a little bit more seriously when it comes to earth and you also learned a lot about spirituality in this in this realm as well eventually you learned your sovereign position in planet earth and what you can do to make sure that you are a grounded responsible version of yourself through living this life so pile number one let's just find out if our angels spirit guides friends family most benevolent empathetic connected beings to ourselves have any advice for you in terms of interacting with this other person that you have in mind here Okay, find new music. 
when you're hanging out or thinking about this other person, think about the fact that there's so much new music to be had out there. You might end up searching on YouTube or stumbling across something that you guys might really enjoy listening to together. Or if they have music that they want to suggest to you, go ahead and give it an ear, imbue this relationship that you have with this other person with new music. Frankness, honesty, and justice will serve you well. So be really open and honest with this person. We're all valid, amazing, special puzzle pieces of nature and we deserve to be as open and honest with each other as possible. You know, we can't always be the most honest versions of ourselves, but we should at least try because we all deserve that. You might be a very like egotistical person as well. You might need to take a little bit of time to focus on the other person a little bit more. You might be very focused on your own spiritual development and maybe you might place judgment on this per other person about spirituality you might be somebody who's like very hippie like and looking at this person like they're not woke enough or something throw that out the window and when you interact with them accept them as they are don't be like the super woke person when it comes to them they don't really need that yeah it looks like this person is still probably a really integral important part of your life pile number one and they might be irreplaceable our angels and spirit guides are giving you advice to make time for them look at them in the way that they have qualities to offer you that you can't really get anywhere else at this moment in time please let me know if that resonated and thank you so much for watching. Hello, let's find out what your person was thinking about you in this past life that you guys had together. Angels, spirit guides, friends, family, my most benevolent, empathetic, connected beings to myself. Pile number two. This person was thinking about how you weren't able to reconnect with them you weren't able to celebrate with them. In this past life, you were not able to plan and watch and be wise about the way that you chose to step forward. And it, sh and it, sh bleh. it ended up making it so a reunion didn't happen. And the emotion behind this particular reunion was never able to be really founded on a grounded level in this past life. So pile number two, what were they feeling about you? So they felt like you had it all together, like you were a very, very happy, independent person in this past life. They also felt like you were very mysterious in a lot of ways, but you let yourself get very emotional and tied up in a lot of of situations that you could have really easily gotten through. They also felt like you were really successful. They might have had a lot of benevolent feelings towards you and felt like you were a really perfect, successful person on your own. They felt like they were connected to you. They felt like you were connected but were not able to reunite based on the fact that you were a little bit messy when it came to the way that you chose to deal with things and that you let yourself be tied up into moments and situations and emotions that you could have really untied yourself from essentially. Pile number two, let's find out about a scenario that you guys might have had together. You might have actually been near water or you might have actually been some kind of sea creature with this other person. I know that's weird. They felt drawn to you, connected to you, but because you would maybe eat them at any point in time, they weren't able to have a friendship with you. And if that doesn't resonate, water was a big part of you guys's interactions a road is in reverse here maybe you guys ended up going near the water 
They remember a woman who showed a lot of growth and improvement, who evolved in a lot of ways. You might have been this feminine energy. You made a decision and in turn it provided shelter in some way or another. It provided comfort and safety for them. So on a spiritual level, why did pile number two's person have to go through this with them? Honestly, I'm going to tell you right now, this was not a happy past life when it came to this person that you have in mind. They were basically involved in this past life to erase their prior experiences. A lot of the times we decide to incarnate and experience certain life situations for the simple fact that we want to experience something new and this person was definitely in it to experience something new. Something that was unexpected and unplanned. Something very grounded into the physical 3D blind flavor that we have down here. They were leaving something behind, you know, and it was probably on a spiritual level, they were leaving their light, angelic, fluffy, let's dance in the clouds side behind. And they were really getting into the nitty gritty. They were also separated from you know, their friends and family in the higher dimensions. They were really diving deep into the waters of this 3D experience with you and this other past life and really getting to know themselves on a really deep level and getting to know their own perceptions of reality on a really deep level. They were really learning how to be a queen of action. So they did face some struggles with you in this past life, but they also learned a lot about how to be stable and grounded and take really beautiful action and just to be the most abundant, prosperous version of themselves. Pile number two, let's find out what you thought about this other person in this past life that you guys had together. What were you thinking about this other person? You thought this other person was like the queen of queens in this past life. You thought they were so powerful, so majestic, so wise but they took themselves way too seriously. That's what you thought. You were like, oh my gosh, this person is so amazing, but they don't relax at all. You also felt like this person was very childlike and innocent in a lot of ways. So you might have seen this person at a very young age for them, and you saw how they were willing to do whatever it took to survive and to succeed but they were still really young and innocent <laughs> that's what you were thinking about them how are you feeling about this other person in past life you might have actually felt like they were left out in the cold you felt a lot of compassion for this person and you felt like they were being left out and they looked at you like they couldn't get close to you but you were looking at them like they couldn't get close to other people so this person was kind of like an outcast in a lot of ways you just had a lot of love for this person and you saw them kind of being dejected just wanted to give them love you had nothing but love for this person. What situation did you share with this person in this past life that you and our angels and spirit guides and friends and family want to divulge? So this situation happened at night. There's a lot of stars in the sky, the moon in the sky. It's very blurry, like this particular situation. It's like you can't translate it with a picture. I got both this camera in reverse and this seven of hearts, so you can barely like translate it across from me. It involved being powerless in some way. Maybe this person came to your aid in a state of 
your own personal powerlessness. File number two, let's find out why you had this particular past life with this other person. You were learning a lot about how to be more emotionally available. You were learning how to become more receptive and gentle and sensitive and emotional. The frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart with the frequency of the mind for an optimal ability to create the reality that we desire. We were definitely in it for some heart-mind coherence, learning what it's like to blend your heart and your mind. You might have been a more masculine energy in a lot of other past lives and you were learning how to be more of your divine feminine aspect. Let's find out if our angels, spirit guides, friends, family, and most benevolent, empathetic, connected beings have any advice for you. There's a lot of different ways that you could do yoga. You can look up YouTube videos online or buy DVDs. Every single animal on this planet stretches when it comes to mammals. Yoga is just an extension of stretching. It's so important. I do yoga almost every day. It only takes me about 20 minutes every day. And you could probably find yoga for beginners that go as low as like seven minutes. I mean, seven minutes really. Loosen up, breathe in to your body. Definitely take a look at some yoga for beginners on YouTube or Buy that yoga video you see at Ross. That's all I have for you today. Let me know if it resonated in any way. Hello, pile number three. What was your person thinking about you in this past life? Angels, no matter what else they were thinking about, it was always flavored by the fact that they knew that you were the kind of person that had a lot of power. They saw you as somebody who was super powerful, but you couldn't communicate yourself and you couldn't show your intuitive capacity. Let's find out how they felt about you. They felt like it was taking a lot of strength to be yourself. You were the super powerful, swift individual, but it looked like you needed strength just to like get out of bed. They also felt like you were very receptive and sensitive and emotional. So let's find out a certain situation that you may have shared with this other person in this past life. So right off the bat, we do have the Joker here. The Joker tells me that there's so much more that happened in this situation that I can't even tell you at this moment in time. You're gonna have to use your own intuition and discernment when it comes to that. It looks like you guys were really healthy. You were eating really well and seeing things from a very clear perspective in the scenario that they shared with you. I am a soldier of persistence and I dominate resistance. There's a situation that you guys shared together where you might have been really close, really healthy, and sharing really close, obvious moments together where you were seeing things as they were with each other. You were so happy. A happy home family environment, but they might have seen you trying to decide whether or not you actually wanted to become a soldier or not. On a spiritual level, why did they have this particular past life with you? Pile number three. They were seeing a realm that is not based on the naivety of the heart. They incarnated and they saw on a spiritual level that it's not always about what the heart wants. It's not always fun and games and lightheartedness. It was like they said, okay, if I don't take a leap of faith and enter into this life, I'm not going to know. I'm going to be heartbroken and I'm going to be stuck. This past life was really important for this other person. They had to take a leap, leap of faith to experience the unknown and to 
face heartbreak and everything that would come with it head on and to learn how to maneuver and take actions in this realm. Let's find out what you were thinking about them in this past life. So you were looking at this person like they were super strong and like they were making a decision in a relationship and being very classy and wise and mysterious when it came to the way that they interacted with other people. You saw them as also having to make decisions in regards to love and regards to how they should treat people. Miracles aren't always the first thing that happens. A lot of the things happen because of work or intent or your own personal involvement with the situation. Spending a lot of time contemplating the dynamic with this other person. So how are you feeling about this other person? Felt like they were very, very wise and intuitive, that they had a lot to offer spiritually. Oh my gosh, we got these same cards for the way that they viewed you. So you both viewed each other as not being able to speak your truth. You felt like they were this really wise person, but that they couldn't get those ideas and expressions across for some reason. So let's see if you had an experience with them that the angels, spirit guides, and friends and family want to share with us. So there was a period in time where you weren't healthy and you weren't seeing things clearly. We also have this again, so something having to do with war. I respect and honor my current work. It is an important step in the staircase to my visions. Being very dedicated to a certain job that you had to do, it was like you remember the relationship that you had with this other person but there was something having to do with you not being able to get out of a certain situation you were in and that impacting your romantic life you were thinking about how there's nothing you can do in regards to romance because you're kind of stuck in this current situation but there are really benevolent things that are coming from it there are little wins here and there you were just taking things as temperate as you could or you were just letting things unfold naturally letting things come together as they should you were feeling really left out in this situation they called you maybe during the holidays you know and they were like hey you know Sandra is gonna come over for dinner tonight and I just met her and I'm so excited and blah 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 and you were like oh my gosh I don't have that and I feel left out because I can't come home but you were seeing the power and the success in this situation. So whether you were acknowledging your own power in this situation or and victory, or you were acknowledging theirs, you were still open-minded and able to see how personal power and victory was taking place, whether with you or this other person. File number three, let's find out why you went through this situation with this other person in a past life. So on a spiritual level, you were looking at the situation through the eyes of a child. You were also learning compassion. The frequency of fertility invites us to be more open, more courageous, more creative, and more joyful than we were before. It activates the potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness into a new and grander expression of ourselves. Transition is in reverse here. I feel like they followed you into this past life together as well like you guys have shared multiple past lives together you might have been a really really humble energy and figure before this life with this other person and through this experience with them you learned how to be a lot more straightforward and sharp and direct with your words and ideas and yourself 
You learned the urgency that comes with expressing your thoughts and ideas. You learned about the ego, how valuable your, your thoughts and ideas really are, even if they offend other people. And we also have the tower here. So this past life that you shared with the person that you have in mind was a really big deal and it changed you and maybe even the earth or maybe wherever you guys were or the other people that involved, whatever happened with you being involved with this other person, this other past life was a huge, 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 huge deal and did something to shift the future for a really long time. Angels, spirit guides, friends, family, my most benevolent, empathetic, connected beings to myself in pile number three. What advice do you have? Harness your emotions and become lord of your own experiences. You might experience moments that really bother you or depress you in front of this other person. Learn how to transmute those feelings and experiences into something positive before you bring them to this other person. I know for me, I'm the kind of person where I don't like being depressed or sad or upset. And I have certain aspects of my family who are ready at the drop of a hat to bring depressing news or bad news or drama my way. And I've just kind of learned over time to be like, I don't want to hear about any of that bring me light or don't bring me anything at all because I have enough to be worried and upset over. Put kid gloves on when it comes to them and realize that they have their own life and they have their own things that make them upset, their own things. And even if they don't share them with you, we're all human. So try to temper yourself when it comes to any drama that you might want to share with this person and realize that we're all trying to be happy at the end of the day. So learn how to control your emotions and your view of the world before you start speaking with this other person. We also have ask your angels. So you might have a lot of guardian angels or spirit guides or empathetic beings around you who are waiting for you to ask them for help. So if you're dealing with something really intense or even really light and you just like to get it off your shoulders because being human is hard enough as it is, ask them for help. Be like, hey, could you guys help me feel more like this? Or hey, could you guys just get rid of this mental situation for me? Imagine that you have angels, ask them for help and they will help you. I ask my angels for help even when it comes to something as small as helping me fall asleep it helps the earth when they help you. Take advantage of your capacity to interact with them. Shed what you know to make room for positive things to enter. Take a break from the ganja. So pile number three, you might be smoking way too much ganja. This ganja could be making you a little bit more wonky than you need to be. It might be making you a little bit more sensitive or a little bit more paranoid or a little bit more flighty than you're supposed to be. The way that I view ganja is ganja is a medicine and it's a puzzle piece for a lot of people. A lot of people in this world are missing a puzzle piece that ganja fills but when you're not really missing any puzzle pieces ganja is just kind of like an extra puzzle piece on top of an already complete puzzle and although it feels really good to have an extra puzzle piece it's not always the most productive or beneficial thing so realize when you need to take a break every once in a while. Maybe just when you're hanging out with this person in particular, just be in this present realm and space with them. Look at them as you are and have them be as they are and go home and smoke after you hang out with them. So that's all I have for you today, pile number three. Please let me know if it resonated with you at all. Hello, pile number four. Angels, spirit guides, friends, family. Most benevolent, empathetic, connected beings to myself. Pile number four. 
they felt like you weren't willing to work with them but that you had the potential to make really beautiful awesome action they felt like you were very upstanding and that you were resisting addiction and that you were just choosing to go on your own path what else was pile number four is person thinking about them in this past life they did feel like you were a healer you might have been unwilling to work with other people unwilling to play nice but you were definitely a healer and you were definitely capable of taking a lot of beautiful action and reaching new territory on your own what were they feeling they felt like you were going through a kind of transition but that you were closed off they felt like you were very vulnerable when it came to your heart and they watched you go through a certain death of self that turned you into the kind of person that would never ever be betrayed again you initially were a little too lenient and open with your heart they felt like they saw you go through some kind of death that led you into being this kind of person that never would allow yourself to be in that position ever again they might have also expressed some things to you that they felt more optimistic about than you did they might have been like oh this is gonna happen or this might happen and they watched you be like no it's actually not gonna happen kind of thing what is a scenario that the guides and angels and ancestors and most benevolent empathetic connected beings want to share you might have been in the mountains Somewhere where there's a lot of ice and snow, or it might have had to do with the mountains. They watched you try to make a decision about a woman, but you just were waiting around. You could not make the decision. Maybe you were debating on whether or not to propose to somebody in this past life. They were learning a lot about how to be more connected to other people. I think they watched you and the way that you dealt with people that you were intrinsically connected to and how kind of you grew in so many stages in regards to the people that you're connected to and they watched how that played out on a spiritual level they also learned a lot from themselves learned a lot about how to be more spiritual and connected with earth and with source the frequency of prosperity supports our feeling of well-being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body mind heart soul and spirit sing it invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration of the abundance and riches of the universe they were also experiencing a home away from home on a spiritual level in a different past life they were definitely a more alien soul and earth and this experience for them with you and this alternate past life was very new and different what did you think about this other person angel spirit guides friends family my most benevolent empathetic connected beings to myself in pile number four. Oh my gosh this is the only pile that has had so many cards come out that I'd love to read but it would just make it way too specific if I read them all you thought this person was giving in to a lot of addictions so they saw you as somebody who was unwilling to go with the crowd and work together with other people but you saw them in a way that was doing that so you were like oh they're conforming basically like they're not doing everything they can in terms of action and they're being addicted to the approval of other people but you also saw them seeing people in places and situations for what they were so although you saw them go going with the crowd and working with other people and maybe even struggling with addiction and not taking the action that you knew that they were capable of you saw them go through a lot of experiences where you valued their opinion you could tell that they kind of had an insider's look 
on an arena of life that you weren't a part of. You also felt like they weren't spiritual, like they weren't opening up to their true potential for awareness. Pile number four, how did you feel about this other person in this past life? Deep down inside, you felt like they were one of your birds, like birds of a feather flock together. You know, with the Three of Pentacles in reverse here, they saw you as the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So they saw you rebelling, rebelling and not willing to work with other people, but you thought of them as the Three of Pentacles upright. You thought of them as conforming and working with other people, but you felt like they had the potential to not be that way. You saw their rebel in them. You felt the rebel that they had in them, and that's why you guys are probably close in this other past life. The frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment yet with compassion and wisdom. What was a certain situation that you may have had with this other person in this past life based on our angels and our spirit guides and our friends and family and husband and one in the middle that could be? The Joker popped out here, so that means that there's a lot more to this situation than I can tell you. It's gonna have to use your intuition and your imagination because there's a whole lot more than what I can divulge at this moment in time. Drugs were definitely involved. Somebody in this scenario had some kind of addiction, which is really sad. It kind of reminds me of the, like the businessman in the 80s. A lot of people in the 80s were on cocaine, which is not good at all. Troubles in the workplace leading to problems on a daily basis. You might have seen this person get really stressed out at first about their job and then seeing their everyday life kind of being devoured by that stress and by an addiction that they probably developed because of their stress of the work workplace. But then a lot of small joys and successes happened and I can't tell you exactly what they were because the Joker's out here, so. But you saw this person, despite all of these troubles, be the most powerful, swift version of themselves. Why did you go through this situation with this other person? You were learning about dynamics on a soul level. You might have had a lot of learning to do in regards to the infinite number of possible dynamics that you could have had with this person. You guys have probably shared a lot of past lives together, experimenting, seeing what other kinds of lives you could have together and how you and them could fit into certain situations. Looking at the way that you and them had power over your situations and how your power and your choosing to either wield or not wield your power in certain situations affected your lives. You were open to the nature of this life together. What kind of things would stick? What kind of things would go? What kind of things would be miracles? What could happen? How much could really go down where a miracle wouldn't present itself? Or what kind of things could go down where a miracle would present itself? In this past life, pile number four, you were not sleeping on a spiritual level. I feel like this life was really, really important for you. It caused a lot of upheaval for you on a spiritual level and you kind of needed that. I think you also needed to be knocked down a couple pegs in this life with this other person to realize you're not the only one that can fix all of the problems. You obviously needed to witness this other person and witness their actions and see that sometimes there's really nothing that anybody else can do to make a situation victorious unless it's themselves. Let's just see if our angels, spirit guides, friends, family, and most benevolent and pathetic connected beings have any advice for you. Celebrate small victories and make careful progress. Celebrate small victories and make careful progress when it comes to this other person. So let me know if that resonated with you. 